So, good day everyone. I'm Narasa Arbanaro from Vita Led HA2A. So, now we are tackled about intellectual revolution, specifically the Copernican Revolution. So, before we start, let's answer first what is Copernican Revolution? Or what comes to your mind when you hear the word, the word Copernican Revolution? So, what is meant by Copernican Revolution? Copernican Revolution is a shift in the field of astronomy from a geocentric understanding of the universe centered around Earth to a heliocentric understanding centered around the Sun as articulated by the Polish astronomer Nicolaus Copernicus in the 16th century. So, in an early times, we are questioned what created days and night. Perhaps, some of us would answer God, but religion is not the case here. So, they wanted to understand what heavenly bodies like stars, moons, and planets are. The invention of the telescope allowed the people to take a peek at the outer space, but more importantly, it also integrated them to know what was actually out there. A famous philosopher and astronomer, which named Claudius Ptolemy, stated that the planets, as well as the sun and the moon, move in a circular motion around the Earth. He is the first astronomer or the scientist stated that what the cause of day and night and the circulation motion around the Earth. So this picture shows the circulation among the Earth. As you can see, the Earth is the center of the universe. So the Sun and Moon's revolution explained the existence of days and nights. He believed that the Earth was at the center, a concept known as geocentrism, in which the Sun is of the solar system or the universe. So, Nicholas Copernicus introduced a new concept known as heliocentrism, which suggested that the center of the solar system was not the Earth, but actually the Sun. So, this is the illustration of heliocentrism, where in the central point or the central part of the universe or the solar system is the Sun and the planets are revolving around the Sun. So, this is the model of Nicholas Copernicus, or the heliocentrism theory, or the heliocentric model. This idea of Nicholas Copernicus was rejected at the first by the public. It's appall appalled mainly since their religious belief had taught them that the earth was created first before all other things. So, Nagkaada ang conflict between the teachings of the church and the idea of Nicolaus Copernicus. Copernicus was even persecuted as a heretic because his teachings were against what was widely accepted by religion. So basically, this idea of Nicolaus, Nicolaus Copernicus is not accepted by the public because it goes against the belief of the public which was the earth is the beginning of the central or the center of everything. So when we say heretic, bagan hi Nicholas Copernicus la ang nagkukuanhan iya sarili nga belief. So bagan hiyan na iiba. So after some time, Astronomers realized that the Copernican model simplified the orbits of planets. It also answered issues that could not be explained using the geocentric model. Other works that supported this model started to emerge as well. So, but there come a time that this model, or by Nicholas Copernicus model, was accepted by the public and many and many sign his arises astronomers who have the same ideas 
supporting the idea of Nicolaus Copernicus that the center of the universe or the solar system was a sun and the planets revolving around the sun. It is also eventually accepted by the people in a period which was called the birth of modern astronomy. So, this era began what was known as the scientific revolution which resulted in the transformation of society's thoughts and beliefs. So, by the works of Nicolaus Copernicus, it gives birth of the modern astronomy. So, at the same time, it gives the transformation of society thoughts and beliefs about the center of the solar system. So, before I end, let's know first what is the concept of Copernican Revolution. The Copernican Revolution is an astronomy was a paradigm shift from the view that the sun revolves around the stationary which is the center of the universe, then the Earth to the view that the Earth is one of the several planets revolving around the Sun. So that's the end of my topic. So the two intelligence revolution will be discussed by Miss Joanne Biok. I hope you learned something. Thank you and keep safe everyone.